What does it mean to be a Muslim influencer? That's the problem. A lot of you, uh, you know, Muslim influencers out there and all that sort of stuff, they're just trying to be perfect, bro. There's one influencer out there. I'm not going to throw a sub. I'm not going to throw a sub. SQ, don't throw a sub. I listen to music and I personally don't mind it. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. All right, I'm here right now, but I'm trying to find... My dopey. I'm trying to find my dopey, so just bear with me as I try to find my dopey. Okay, give me a second. Why SQ? Because I like wearing a dopey. That's why. I like wearing a dopey. And hey, you know what? Maybe if they can see Brother SQ wearing a dopey, cool ass dude, swagger on a hundred thousand trillion, they'd be like, you know what? It's cool for me to wear a kufi too. That's how Islamic identity is developed. Let me continue to find this dopey. Who knows? This video is going to be about influence. We're going to talk about what influence is. What does it mean to be a Muslim influencer? All this coming very, very soon too. Listen, I have, you have no idea how grateful I am for you guys. Honest to God. Honest to God. I, don't, I can't even find this dopey. What the? Subhanallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Come on, Allah. We need some barakah in this. Come on. Ah, I found one, but it's kind of yellowed out. But you know what? You know what? You call it yellow, I call it vintage. Oh God, okay, this is gonna be great. Uh, See, so yeah, this is great. Look, like, so the hoodie of this, this hoodie is sort of like yellowish vintage, and this is actually how it is. Now my kufi, which is dirty and yellow and vintage. All right, Bismillah, we're good. We're good, put this down. Damn, this is a little too yellow for me. <laughs> okay, I don't know how, uh, maybe I might go and post and just do some auto, you know, some some color correction. Make this dopey look mad white. Uh, oh, I like this. This feel. See, now I feel kind of secure. My head feels kind of secure. I feel good. I like that. I feel. Uh, alhamdulillah for Allah making me bald. You know, maybe if I had hair, I'd be like a really, really arrogant person. I probably would be. When I had hair, I'd look in the mirror a lot. Alhamdulillah, I don't look in the mirror that often. Alhamdulillah, that's good. But I believe in looking in the mirror as far as reflection is concerned. Then this is where the idea of this video came from. Let's go back to this, okay? Found my topi. All right? What does it mean to be a Muslim influencer? What does it mean to have influence? You see, leadership is influence. What does it mean to be a leader? You got a title? I'm the president. I'm the principal. I'm the assistant principal. I'm the math coach. Like, you're the masjid board, treasury, trust. What does it mean? What does leadership mean? Titles? No. Leadership is influence. If you could have influence, you have leadership. Simple as that. Do you know? So let's go back to this topic of influence, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's someone in the comment section below who could tell me this. Is this true or not? Maybe you can or can't tell me this. Damn, this is looking swaggy. Okay. By me wearing a kufi, by me growing a sunnah beard, by me having these attributes, it makes it cool for other people to have them too. Now, this is obviously not me, it's the sunnah, so on and so forth. But because of my influence, I'm able to dictate a better way of looking for people. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm sounding arrogant right now. Maybe I'm just, I shouldn't be sitting there. Maybe I should be standing up. Maybe I'll stand up. Maybe I'll stand up. It's my house. I'll stand up if I want to stand up. Right? We do this. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Guys, I'm in the process of moving too. So, you know, a lot of changes are to come. So I love and appreciate you guys so much. <clears throat> and honestly, I can't just thank you. I can't thank you enough for how much I love you guys. Honestly. Uh, you guys are just... I can't even make eye contact with you because you know what happens when I make eye contact with you, right? Start crying. I'm not going to do that, okay? God, some of you have already become pa Patreon members. Wow. Do you know, and this is not a plug for my Patreon, which is going to obviously be a plug for my Patreon, but it was genuinely from the heart. You know how cool that is? I woke up and have five Patreon. Five people. You know, let me tell you guys something. Let me just, let me just, let me just turn, pull this up. We're about to go in. Influence. Influence. That's what today was about? Influence? No. Today's about anything I want to talk about. Influence was just like the main tree. All these things are branches of our ideas. And that's how it should be. Right? That's how it should be. Okay. Let's keep going. Influence. <clears throat> During this time that I'm pausing, I'm trying to remember what I was supposed to talk to you about. 
right? And it was about a specific idea, but I just can't remember right now. Here, meet my Billy in the meantime. Bismillah. Hey, Billy. Come here. Come here, Blue. Oh, this is my Billy Blue. Ah, 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 ah. All right. That was her influence. She's just like, get off me. The point I'm trying to make is this, guys. The point I'm trying to make is this. Because I'm a Muslim YouTuber influencer, those words are corny. All right? Influence, those words are corny because they don't know what it really means. Influence is leadership. Does that make sense? Have you connected those two, two things yet? Influence and leadership are connected hand in hand. If you want to be a leader, the leader is the one with the most amount of influence. Hope this is like resonating, connecting with you. If I openly came out and told you guys that I listen to music and I personally don't mind it, do you know how many children that would influence to go and listen to music? Does that make sense? I'm not saying I do that. Right? Nor am I condoning that. Nor am I reprimanding you if you are. I'm just here telling you about me. This is my influence. That if I do something like that, it will give people the wrong idea that it's okay to do such a thing when it's not. If I came out and openly, you know, uh, you know, admitted to like thinking it's okay to like maybe take a swig of wine or a slug for oh my my god, this is so haram. Like I'm not trying to like a slug for Allah do such a thing like that, right? But the, the point I'm trying to make is this. I have influence over the Muslims. What does it mean to be a Muslim influencer? Do you know, like, if I, you know, condemn some people or, you know, accept someone more than someone else, do you know how much that could sway your judgment? I have a lot of influence. I have a lot of influence, and so do you. There's no titles over here. So do you. You're an influencer. You're a leader. The messenger saw some said, see, man, there's so many things that we could connect within this sort of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that I don't mention enough Quran verses and a hadith for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes I gave you homework. Did you do your homework? You didn't do your homework? Homework was right here, I think. Yesterday I got the whole thing wrong. Wallahi, I can't believe it. I, I couldn't figure out if the cards are here or over here, but the cards are over here, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong again. Who knows, right? It's not about being perfect. That's the problem. A lot of you, uh, you know, Muslim influencers out there and all that sort of stuff, they're just trying to be perfect, bro. There's one influencer out there. I'm not going to throw a sub. I'm not going to throw a sub. SQ, don't throw a sub. Don't do it. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Do not throw a sub. No. No. I caught myself. The messenger also said, if you are to protect these two things, you promise paradise. It's what's down there. That flesh between your legs and the other flesh between your teeth. You got to catch it. Oh, you got to catch it. You got to catch it. The reward is paradise. You got to catch it. Starting beef with someone is not worth paradise. Trying to throw a sub is not worth paradise. It's not worth it. It's not worth losing your paradise. No way. Imagine all the good deeds you've earned. Imagine all the deeds that you've done. You have to give it to someone. No way. No way. Ugh. Look how much pain I've associated to doing that bad deed. I'd never want to do that. You see, it's, it's how we train our minds to view these things is what makes a difference between our lives. The sunnah is important to us because following anything else is just disgusting. It's just no way of living. You understand? The sunnah is here to teach us. It's here to teach us. Jeez, man. For those real ones who watch these videos, damn, I love you so much. I just, I can't explain how much I just love you guys. God, you know, and those five Patreon members, I love you too. And even if you're not a Patreon member, I love you too, okay? I know Patreon members might be the Burescu, we want more love. No, Patreon members, relax. I know you're in the exclusive club, but relax. Hey, by the way, Patreon members, I left you a very special message this morning. I woke up, I had some thoughts, and I shared it with you. Uh, so make sure you go and unlock that message. But guys... What does it mean to be a Muslim uh, influencer? I don't know. I'm just a Muslim dude. I have influence from the grace of Allah, and that's an amana from Allah. I got to make sure that I'm taking care of that. The whole inception of this video started when I was outside, and I'm just like, wow, like, if I, if I were to do something, something wrong, I was thinking, something wrong, and 
people were to see that there's certain people who are weak out there that would just take that as because I'm an influencer. It's okay to do such a thing. Now, look, people say the same thing about tattoos. It causes like a fit to nine people's hearts and stuff like that. And I could get it if I'm openly saying, guys, look, I just got some new ink. But, bro, this is old. I have hair on this, bro. You know, people who have tattoos in these areas, they, they shave the hair to keep it fresh looking. They trim it. I have hair on this. You know how much dead skin is on this? I don't exfoliate this arm. You know what I mean? The noor is up here. Not over here. SubhanAllah. Maybe there's noor over here. Who knows? Who knows? You know? This, 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 this is the part of my arm. This is the part of my arm. You guys just be, remove your arm? Like, come on. You can't just, you know, just take a machete and just chop someone's arm. We're like, what are you doing? I got laser remove it, brother remove. Like, yeah, yeah, chill. It's my body. Relax. Yeah, I'm not just talking about like it's not a piece of like paper. It's not like, hey, SQ, just move this out the way. Okay. This is like a life change. Like, I need to chill with that. It's body transformation. You know, people have body disassociation like disorders and things like that when they get nose jobs done and things like that. They can't even recognize the person in the mirror anymore. You know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? Imagine if I remove this, I'd like lose myself. Imagine. No, that, that root is connected to the heart, which is connected to Allah Azza wa Jalla. That's it. This is nothing. This is my flesh. Wallahi, I'm going to be raised on the day of judgment. All of you have the right to... Yo, y'all don't understand. I really wish I could explain to you how quick my mind is moving and how slow my mouth is moving. Honest to God, I, I wish I could explain to you guys. Honest to God. People are saying, hey, don't correct Muhammad uh, Ibn Salman or whatever his name is. Why not? He's a Muslim ruler. Okay, I'm not telling you how to go do a coup. I'm not telling you how to go do a coup to man's, man's kingdom. But as my brother in Islam, is he not my brother in Islam? True or false? So does that not mean I'm allowed to give my brother in Islam nasiha? True or false? So I'm giving nasiha to brother Ibn Salman. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a Nasiha video for brothers. So like, what? Oh, that's cute. You're speaking against the ruler. No, 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 no. I'm not speaking against the title. I'm speaking to the brother, the one who is the, the ruler. You understand? I'm speaking to him. Who knows? He watches that video. He likes me, flies me out there, puts me in front of the tigers and tells them to eat him. Who knows? I don't know. But he looks like a cool dude. I, maybe my approach is wrong. Maybe I'm being the a-hole over here. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm being the a-hole. Oh, leaving Nicki Minaj. I'm such a jerk, bro. That's such a jerk move. Imagine me and him become best friends after this. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, bestie, all right? If we are friends right now in the future, just know you're cool people and I was a jerk, okay? I'm sorry. I could have I could have said all my messages to you like in a better way. How old is Muhammad Ibn Salman? How old is he? Hold on. I need to find my phone. No, wait. I have a laptop. Being resourceful. You think the problems for you not doing things in your life is because you don't have the things or the items or the resources? It's the lack of resourcefulness. Musa alayhi salam conquered a land with a staff. Knock, knock. Come on. Musa alayhi salam conquered a whole land with a staff. But it was the barakah and the blessings that he had in that staff that made him control the whole land. Just a staff. A fugitive. Coming back. A dude who was, he was an orphan to some degree, you know what I mean? Didn't, wasn't raised by his own parent. Look at his life. Look where he ended up. People will be like, people need to get over themselves. Okay, let's see. Uh, age of Muhammad Ibn Salman. I'm probably saying his name wrong the whole time. Uh, Muhammad Ibn Salman. He's 35 years old. Man, come on, come on. Come on, bro. He's like the same age as us. He probably goes through the same stuff that we go through. You remember what you were going through at the age of 35? Maybe he's going through that too. But he's just the king version of that, huh? Come on. That's my brother in Islam. I'm allowed to, anyone's allowed to give me nasiha. Anyone is allowed to give me nasiha. But it doesn't have to be like, brother, I want to sit down and give you some nasiha. When, good, when you're friends with people, bro, like you're able to get your message across in the most smoothest way possible because even friends amongst each other have influence. So don't think for a second that a Muslim influencer, you all are Muslim influencers out there. The shepherd, right? I think that's what we were talking about, the messenger saw some, the shepherd. The messenger saw some said that um, like, like the men, the males of the house are the shepherds of the house. They, and it's their responsibility to take care of their flock. What does that mean? 
We're really going to be sit there with the staff and shepherd these, you know, talk to our wives like they're cattle, treat her like she's cattle. Some of y'all be doing that. Y'all taking the hadith the wrong way. Don't be treating your family like that. All right? It means we have influence over them. We have influence over them. The better I become, the better they become. I have influence over them. You understand? And that's what happens. That's why you're supposed to follow the deen of the father. That's why it's important for the father to be Muslim. It's important. And for the father to be practicing as a Muslim. Does that mean that you can't marry a Christian or, uh, or, 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 or some, some, some Jewish person or uh, you fell in love with a Hindu or something like that and let's suppose they don't believe in those, uh, you know, those idols and stuff like that. And there's Christians out there by Nam, by Namke, you know, by name. Uh, wait for the video. Oh my God. I, by now you would have seen the video which is up over here depending on when this is uploaded. This would be uploaded probably Monday because Sunday we're doing the iPad uh, uh, part two, the uh, quizzing strangers one that should be up already too. So here, watch that as well too, inshallah. Um, but man, who knows? I might not even be alive to upload this. God knows, you know what I mean? Like we can't just be thinking that our lives are just so, like it's guaranteed, it's promised, it's this is it's not. None of these things are promised at all. None of these things are promised. We have influence. You all have influence. If you're in a friend circle or a friend group, don't think for a second that if you stop smoking cigarettes, that wouldn't influence them to stop smoking cigarettes. Don't think that for a second. Don't think that for a second that if you're in a friend's group and they do Gandhi Bate, I know, their friend circles out there, they do Gandhi Bate, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ugh, it's dirty talk. Don't think for a second that if you stopped talking about them, if you stopped doing it, that it wouldn't influence them to also check themselves. They'll notice. Don't think they won't notice. If your friend circles curse a lot and you decide that for, from now on, you are going to stop cursing. Don't think that won't have an influence on that. And you don't even have to be telling them and projecting, yo, bro, stop cursing. Yo, bro, stop haram. That's what people be going down because they're just like, they want to they wanna force their values onto you. No. Show them your values. Show them your influence. My man, Muhammad ibn Salman. We're going to be kicking it with Muhammad ibn Salman. Imagine, well, say, who says it can't happen? Who says it can't happen? That me and my, man, if Muhammad ibn Salman became a Patreon member, that would be phenomenal. I would just have all the support I can. And we could fix the world together. Me and you, Muhammad ibn Salman. You don't think you'd want to work with me? Maybe. Let's collab. Let's collab, Muhammad ibn Salman. Who knows where this might take us? Who knows? But all those who are on the journey with me, I love and appreciate you so much. Love and appreciate you so much. Wow, is there a child over here? Hey, babe. Are you up? Okay. The video is almost over. It's, it's over now because you're here. Okay, I love you. I'm going to just go and turn it off. Okay, you're allowed to go anywhere over here. It's your house. Or is it? Okay, anyways, I got to go, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed all these videos and the talk and the banter and all that sort of stuff. Check out some of these other videos right here or don't check them out. Um, but I'm enjoying those comments that you guys are leaving on my videos. I'm really, really responding to them a lot more. I, babe, have you noticed that I'm on my comments a lot more? On my phone a lot more? That, excuse me. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? That I'm on my phone a lot more for comments? Yeah, you have been posting Yeah. Because the real ones out there have been writing me. And when you write me, I write back. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, which is, I don't know when. I don't know when. Allah alam. I'm out.